we will teach you how to become a miner. You don't need any experience. It doesn't matter where you're from. We've got farmers, nurses, teachers, baristas. Anyone can uh, come to the fold of mining. The whole idea of the school is to get their feet before they have to go out there. We saw the need for change. The mining school gives them five weeks of intense training and gives them that, uh, that start that you know, they won't look back. Coming into a mining situation I've never mined before in my life, so just about everything is new to me. We come in, he'll be teaching us pretty much everything we need to know. Once we go into our role, we'll be fully prepared to go and start work straight away. The amount of stories and knowledge they passed on to us through the training school was amazing. Every time we learned something new about pumps or whatever, there was a story towards it. It was a, a good stepping stone to get into the job. For someone like me who didn't have mining experience, didn't know what I was going to do coming straight down. Yeah, they were really good. They're really encouraging to work with everyone from different cultures and everything. So yeah, I hope to make a career out of it. I see myself being here for a while. It's the medium which enables us to take people who haven't had any exposure to mining, particular underground hard rock, and it teaches them the language that they need to be able to communicate with the rest of their workmates and their supervisors. You know, our workplace environment is different, it's not an office, so the way we communicate is really important, making sure that we understand each other. You know, you compare someone who's just come into underground, it's quite, you know, it's, it's a very different work environment. They're quite quiet, they don't speak up. Now what we're seeing is they're very vocal, um, they've always got something to say and they're saying it with the right lens. It's the introduction to everything mining. We go from the rock in the walls all the way to the process of extracting the copper onto sheets. Um, it's a great, great initiative that they've taken. They've actually put a step forward to teach people. I know guys that didn't go through this school and I'm telling them new things. I've got all the tools necessary to complete my task of the day and stay safe and that's what matters. I get a lot of good feedback from the students. They're wrapped with the fact that they haven't been thrown in the deep end virtually. So I get the ship bosses come back and they're saying that the students are coming to them that they love it because they're actually hitting the ground running. The school's providing us uh, entry-level miners that are trained, confident, they can go out into the workplace, they've got all the tickets necessary, they know the mining language and they walk out into the field productive. Having people be able to come in, hit the ground running, means that we're starting to see a productivity uplift. So typically when we have new starters in, it takes them sort of three months before they can, they sort of give back to the group. And now what we're finding is they're coming in, they're able to pick up the tools and, and get to work a lot quicker. When you talk to some of the, the teams that welcome the, the new starters in, then they, they go, they're showing up in a, in a lot more positive sense. And then so when they get out into the field, you know, everyone's learnt the same things the same way. It just makes that transition from really green into the start of a, a employment a lot easier. As teachers, we're learning as well. The better and smarter methods to teach them. And I hope that in the future, that we just keep evolving this school to be better and better. It's just gone from strength to strength. And it's been identified now that uh, with, a, with an OD, uh, it's the way forward.